Hello there and welcome back to another episode in our series. So in the last episode we finished constructing this little restaurant area over here and we spoke about a few ideas that we want to do in this episode as well. One of them was to try and figure out, oh dear, this has gone crazy again. Yeah, so this is something we do want to figure out. Let me just pause this for a second actually. So I spent a little bit of time looking at the map and the surroundings and the terrain of course as well. And I have laid down what I think is the solution. Yeah, so we do have platforms that are going all the way around. This is where we place the station eventually. And uh, yeah, so it's going to loop around this mountain range over here. And then head back towards our farming district. Now, what I do want to do, and I think it's pretty achievable in this episode already, is to uh, split the district in half. So... I would like this to remain as the farming one. With the deliveries, I think it should be possible because everything we're getting from here... Well, maybe a few things we have to do it manually as well. But yeah, essentially, we're not going to have a train that runs into our main district. And we'll uh, just do hand deliveries. Now, with the district center over here, I'd like to relocate it. I'm thinking somewhere here seems like a central location. And I also do want to start building some... Um, what do we need? The well-being stuff here as well, such as the carousel, uh, ferris wheel, uh, temple we already have, but we could plop a, another one. We'll, we'll see. I think we have a bit more space now once we get the district center out of the way, so we can expand uh, into this side as well. But um, yeah, let's uh, see how it goes. Now, the first thing we do want to do, well, before we actually go there, um, since everything is queued up, the beavers and the bots will be quite busy constructing this up, so that's good. This means we can talk about a few other things. Oh, wait a second, there's one dynamite over there as well, and what about this section here? So yeah, we've been uh, lowering this a little bit here, and um, there's a bit of a gap here, because I do want to have those 10 tile, oh, okay, one more level, uh, floodgates over here. So that way we can regulate the water and even in the longer droughts we'll be able to send some extra water in here and therefore keeping the cattails alive. Okay, so these guys are doing all the tracks actually. We should probably give it a highest priority because there's so many building tasks that they have right now. Uh, right, so... <laughs> well, since it's not flooding there, this isn't full. The automation isn't going to be very useful. Can we, however... No, we cannot. If we bring it to zero, what happens then? Nothing. Okay, fine. We'll just close it and let it flood. Now, all of these flowers that we need for medicine, they are unfortunately in our way a little bit. So they do have to go somewhere else. And what I thought about, and what we have done, is we've uh, placed them over here. Yeah, that's right. So we got plenty of space over here. With the range itself, well, you're still out of the way a bit more as well, so... Actually, maybe it is time to move you a little bit closer. Um, right, let's... Um, if we want to make it a little bit nicer, maybe we'll even place it this way. Well, let's give it a try. Let's see how it goes. So that's going to be the location for the district center once we uh, get it cleared up and we'll move it in there. Now, over here, we are planting... Yeah, we're pretty busy with that, so that is good. The lake itself seems to be getting a lot more full as well. How are you doing over here? Okay. So let's see if we can do a slightly bigger flood kit here. Oh, wow. I think we are going to need, uh, let's see, six or seven. Maybe it's six. Let's unlock you. You seem to be the right height. So, okay, there we go. You are now scheduled in. And another thing I do also want to do is lower this pool or carry on lowering this pool over here because that essentially is a very tiny tank that will keep this river uh, full as well during the uh, droughts themselves are you filling up though don't think so i think everything's going through this way it sure looks like it Oh, never mind. There's some water coming through, so we are all good. Okay, so these guys will be a bit busy over here as well. Everything is looking good. You're filling up. And yeah, with the new dams over here, we will be able to keep it a bit more green around this area. Okay, cool. So let's go back over here. 
since we do have moved the uh, harvesting area somewhere else, I think, yeah, now it should be pretty safe to mark everything in here for destruction. All right, here you go. Get them all out. And I think, yeah, we can destroy you now as well. Let's set up some, um, <laughs> some routes. So first of all, you are going to have to accept them. Where are you? Oh dear, that's going to be difficult to find. Oh, there we go. Okay, so we are receiving. And we do have to send them out from... Where is the station? Right over here. Okay, perfect. Change you over. Sending. And uh, what we do need here... Actually, wait a second. We've got 42 bots now as well. So I think we can pause these ones. And we'll uh, leave two of the assemblers running. Okay, cool. So next thing we do need is someone to go and start working over here. Alright, guys. Okay, we'll set you up as well. And where have you gone? I'll probably recharge your batteries. No, you haven't. Been doing something else, I think. But, uh, yeah, it should be fine. Uh, we'll, we might run a little low on the medicine. Actually, 300 is enough. No one's working in factories, so we should be fine. I was just thinking, in three days, if we don't get them growing fast enough, then... We might run a little low, but it seems we are okay. All right, so it seems the dynamites were completed. We've scheduled in the metal floodgates that are 10 tiles high. So hopefully, actually, why don't we give you a slightly high priority, just in case we get the the next drought arriving very soon. And okay, there we go. So you're still flooding. This one's going to be closed. I mean, right now we have, what is it, one, two, three, four. And that does not seem to be enough. So maybe it has to be like four five wide i suppose it is pretty achievable we can just shave off this corner over here and down here what about you guys okay one two three four but we could do the same here as well not sure if they can reach over here no they cannot okay fine well um <laughs> what can we do you can't place this above oh you can okay that is good off you go we'll place some grab a road okay now we should be able to climb over place the dynamite over there and we can change this around a little bit actually do you know what let's delete everything and we'll place the dam right away well they're not gonna have it built anytime soon because there is a, a lot of things to put down all around this area oh yeah okay well quite a bit of it seems complete already though so that is lovely. Okay, and you guys still have access from somewhere there, isn't it? Okay, so that's good. Uh, right, right, right. Now, hmm, that means all of the builders in here we don't have any spare ones. But we have a lot of spare columns. So why don't we send in a slightly bigger team? Because, um, yeah, there's quite a few things to construct. So if we had... Let's see, about four teams, that makes it 16, and we need 37 in total. Okay, all these construction or builder huts as well, I'd like to relocate them a little bit. This one might be fine over here, but I think with all the other ones, yeah. I'd like to use that space for perhaps some houses, or maybe even some decorations here as well. Who knows? So do we have enough? Okay, we can do one more. I think for now it, it is it is safe to use the bots. But yeah, let's try and clear this area up a little bit. Okay. Maybe a slightly higher priority for this zone. Because it would be good for us to start sort of planning out how we want to use this space here as well. Yeah, how many beavers do we have in here? Okay, so it's five or six are still jobless, which is good. And right, if we are going to remove you, where shall we place you? I think there is a pretty underutilized zone over here. And uh, we don't really need to go through. And if we have to, we can also go over. Now, this road over here can't really place a lot of things there. But I think we'll be fine. We'll give you the roads as well. Off you go. These are scheduled in now, so that's good. Okay, so this area is starting to become a little bit more clean lovely so let's do the uh, the biggest job now which is removing all the district centers now that's probably going to be painful 
Let's have a look. What was the minimum over here? About 30 is what we need. Okay, great. So, <laughs> you will go right over here. And we'll set you this way. Do we want to set it up right now? I don't think so. Okay, let's pause it one more time. That goes there. We'll grab the road. Hopefully they didn't all run away. Or maybe they did. Okay, we'll set you up again. 30 it shall be. Right, right, right. And there we go. Now, is anything struggling or complaining? This is getting pretty red over here, which is not very good. Yeah. Perhaps what we could do, because that used to be like our previous high road over here. How about we turn it into this one instead? Yep, and that should be pretty easy as well. I mean, they're crossing over here. If we give them an option to climb down, it could be a little bit better. Okay, yep, that's what we shall do. Let's cut this link that probably will start complaining. And if we spin you this way. Okay, that seems good. And connect you up with the with the roads themselves as well. Right, highest priority since it is quite a quite an important link over there. During the drought seasons, we noticed that our power production wasn't very good. I think right now it's 8,000 because we do have the wheels running and they're producing quite a lot. So we have placed a couple of spare engines over here. And they seem to be running just nicely. And if we find ourselves needing some more power, we can always place additional to right up there. Okay, so one of the sentences is now done. Let's have a look at the range as well. You can go all the way here. Yes, it's red, but everything is reachable, it seems. Uh, this isn't looking the best. Oh, because you have to go around. How about... What's going on here? Oh, we don't have a road. Oh, I see. Okay, how about now? Pretty much the same, I think. Yeah, it doesn't look like it's made a huge difference. But, uh, okay, yeah, let's leave it at that. Now, to complete these floodgates over here, we are going to need a bit of scrap metal. So, I have unpaused a couple of these stations over here. I don't want to clear this zone, but we are just going to steal about eight scrap metal so we can get the floodgates constructed. Okay, so there you go. This one requires just one more or two more. And I think we are pretty much done, aren't we? Yep. So we'll post two of you. Right, let's have a look. You are waiting for one delivery, which seems to be coming from there. And then we need just another four. All right, beautiful. So one of them is now constructed. Can we grab the other one as well? Four more, one going from there. How many do we, do we have here? Oh, okay. So we, I think we are a little short, but not to worry. Here's another one, you're done. We've got two right now. How many do you need? Two. Okay, so the other one can be paused as well. Right, so that should be sorted. And then uh, with the automation, yeah. How about we do it... We only have to do it in one. So that's good. Right, advanced. So if it's high, we shall set it over here. And high threshold shall be 197, I guess. Oh, uh, wait a second. That's the low. And that's... Oh, uh, okay. Okay. One second whilst I figure this out. Okay, I think we have it now. So what we set it for was low threshold for 199. And if it's under 199, we keep the gates closed. If it... Hmm, this might be wrong, but we'll see. The high would be 190. Oh no, it, it should be correct. If it drops to uh, 194, then we shall be opening the gates. But let's see. Let's see what happens. It goes. Oh, that's very high, isn't it? How high is it right now? 98, starting to flood. Uh, the gates have opened. Okay, so I think it is working. Um, maybe we drop this a little bit lower. Let's do 77. Is when you close again. Oh dear. 
Yeah, maybe you should have been a little bit further away. Right. Lesson learned. I think we're gonna place you over there instead. Because otherwise it's gonna be jumping. Yep. Alright. Okay. Fine. Now it's still gonna be jumping quite a bit because, yeah, the water level, as soon as it opens, it drops quite a bit. Uh, it's fine. It's fine. Everything seems to be not flooded right now. So I think that is good. Now, how are the platforms coming along? Alright, so they've done quite a bit over here. Let's have a look on the other side as well. A few of them... Oh, they can't reach them. Right, access is the issue. And this will be fine if we get the link over here done first. And this side, it seems to be pretty much done as well. They don't have the range right now. But we are about to change this. Okay, cool. So, what we shall do right now is to block in those trees so they don't start expanding. And I was thinking this rig center could go right about here. Yep, connect it up, road goes straight to the right and maybe somewhere here we climb down. Yep, that seems good to me so why don't we place just a couple of platforms over here. I mean technically if we really wanted to, we could have kept some vegetation here or what we could do which might be pretty cool as well, is have those campfires here. Or some of them. Yep, if we change the terrain just a little bit. And then we could cover them up with the platforms, but we are going to need some more... Hmm, this is an interesting thought, however. Which we might do... We'll, we'll see. We'll relocate the district centers first. And then once that is done, uh, we'll figure out how we want to construct everything in here. When it comes to our farming district, I think, uh, yeah, this seems to be the only suitable space for us. We are probably going to have to raise you on platforms. However, that should be, uh, should be fine. Right, so give you a slightly higher priority as well, because I don't know where all of our construction beavers are right now. There's no spare ones, is it? No. Okay, fine. You guys constructing this stuff over here, or where is everyone? Let's have a look. Okay, so you're over here. Now what about... Oh, you've already filled up all of these as well. Right, I see. Okay. Not a problem. Let's pause all of you. Which means you are now full, beautiful. Okay, we can have just a little bit more space now. And uh, yeah, rearrange this whole area a bit as well. Right, so I think I've changed my mind uh, just a tiny bit. Now, there isn't a lot of stuff or reason for the beavers to go on this side. So the center itself, the district center, I feel it should be facing that way, if I'm completely honest. Yeah, because we do have the, the bathhouse over there, the restaurants, and who knows what we might build over there as well, if we do anything, of course. Uh, so, right, let's take a look. So you can almost already go right about here. I mean, that is a pretty suitable spot in here. Uh, do we want to place it here? No, we wanna might want to run some platforms from there. Yes, let's place you over here. We might remove this link instead. And then connect you up. Well, let's see what happens. First of all... Oh, hold on a second have this zone as well so why don't you start building the platforms where we do need you yep we need this area ready as well before we delete the other one i mean we could of course cut the links but all of our builders are in this zone right now what shall we do i guess it will be fine uh but all of that is yeah we can't link it up just yet unless we do something like this uh i guess it works Okay. Well, there you go. Now, how many beavers do you need in this zone? I'm hoping the platforms are done very soon. Yes, I see a couple of beavers. Or a column down here. Yeah, okay, good. So, let's have a look. What do we have? We have 37 and 129. So, here we go. Let's uh, add another few in here. And what we do want to do is you are number 23, minimum 100 and... Actually, I don't think we need a minimum over here. Everyone's going to run here anyways. 
And uh, whilst we were talking about it, I've already forgotten how many pots do we have here as well. Oh yeah, we might not need 37 because they're going to be in the other district. And as a matter of fact, I don't think we need any pots in here. That might be correct. Yeah, is the last one almost done? Let's speed it up a little bit as well. Just need four more planks. Do we have enough planks? Oh yes, we do. Plenty over here. What is funny to see, we have more gears actually than uh, than we have planks, but uh, planks are used for quite a few things as well. Oh, now I see why it was getting done so slow. You were out of energy, it seems. Okay, I think we are good to go. So let's pause this for a second because we are going to have to cut a few links. All right, one over there, this one, and now nothing. Yeah, we should be fine. This means you are unfortunately gonna go. We'll link you all up again. Alright, there we go. I really hope they all went in here, didn't they? Or did you go somewhere else? Uh, oh dear. Okay, Scrap City has 13. Well, that's not good. Let's grab uh, Scrap City from the top and we are gonna send you to District 23. Okay, off you go. Uh, next one is 19 really should start naming them all right all of you as well and i think that is all yeah we're not gonna need any bots over here but the ones that are hanging around that is fine now you oh are we still connected somewhere must be this route over here because there aren't any other roads i believe everything else should be disconnected We'll try it again. Here we go. Bots mostly. Uh, that means, oh, I see. Everything was beavers here. Well, not to worry. I think we do have some uh, spare ones. Cool. So perhaps first we should name you to. Let's put farm for now. So at least we'll know what we or where we are sending our columns to. Cool. And we have six spare ones. Beautiful. Now, what I'll do is during the night. I'll just go through all of those buildings and set them to bots instead. Okay, so I've gone through everything, but it seems we have like 32 vacancies over here now, which is uh, not very good. But um, yeah, let's uh, send a few more bots over here. Let's start with 50 and see how it goes. I think with some of the farms, we're not going to need as many anymore. So we can probably pause another one, right? Okay, 13, yeah, chops that we still have. Okay, fine, well, um, let's have a look. All of these are paused. You are fine, lowest priority for you. Okay, how about we take another 10 spare columns that we did have? Okay, seems to be good now. You guys are fine as well, right? Yep, everything is okay. Cool, okay, platforms... They do have access now, but they cannot build this one just yet. Right, so you are always underwater. I was thinking to put like a storage area over here, but since I moved the dams over, so right now we are hoping to keep this whole area underwater throughout the longer droughts as well. Yes, some of those trees are not going to make it, but oh well, it, it's okay. At least it looks nice and beautiful over here, but... I just want to, you know, keep this lake full or the rivers full as much as we can. Not a, a lot left, it seems. So that is that is very good. And then we'll just have to figure out how we're going to co connect this up. So yeah, give me a little bit of time. I'll fill the gaps and we'll be right back. Okay, so we have figured out how we want to continue from here. So essentially, one of the ways is going to cut through the little pillar or right next to it. Go around and then I, I think this is where we want to... Uh, land on this tiny little hill over here. Okay, so if we grab the train station real quick, uh, you could go right about here. Okay, so, so the trains can uh, flow into the station, turn around, uh, drop off the goods and pick up anything they are sending, of course. Go through up on this hill, or the platforms, and then I just have to get rid of a few plants over here as well. And then we can go through back on the tracks over here. 
this one same over here unfortunately we are gonna have to cut the power for a very short while we just need to let everything else to be completed first and the but yeah so the train goes through uh, I guess the same thing applies over here isn't it uh, maybe not we'll, we'll see well we did want to change this around anyways so yeah it's uh, it's gonna go through around all the way around this hill get to the station unload everything and then we're good to repeat this loop once again right so that's figured out now we do have to I think yeah relocate or shuffle a few things around so you're gonna go let's make sure we have someone cooking up those potatoes for us and uh, yeah so it's still quite a lot to do now what I quickly realized is we lack the power over here or the facilities for them to charge themselves up again and then I also noticed well we don't have the distribution center so yeah we are shipping over a few goods there isn't any other food just yet and I think we are fine because most of the food is in this district anyways isn't it yeah we got tons of potatoes spadadoc as well so we'll be fine for a little while uh, we still have bots in here for some reason. I guess we do have to send you out. Okay. Uh, yep. So uh, food-wise is fine. But we are sending a few resources. So they can start constructing. And um, after that. We should be good. Because all the food. Well what I mean is. We're not going to send any of the other foods in here. Because everything is going to be produced at the restaurants over here. Yep. And then they can come and eat from uh, from here. Okay, so since it is quite a large project, and we do want to do the uh, entertainment here as well, I think it's going to be a two-part episode. So this one's part one. We've gone through everything that we do want to do and put down some foundation. I mean, the uh, lake itself is working as well. We've got 20... I think it started with 30. It's a 30-day drought that we have with us right now as well. So yeah, it's going to be interesting to see. But uh, okay, so we've gone through the basics. We've done a few modifications. We get the idea what we want to do, so uh, let's continue and finish it in the next episode instead. So yeah, thank you so much for watching, hope you enjoyed, and I'll see you in the next one.